this belt. Oh, look. Hi guys, Happy New Year. I can't believe it's 2017 already and Michael and I are back from having a brilliant time in St. Lucia. I thought I would kick off the new year by doing a video on a look back on the past year and just show you my favorite things that I found for 2016. And so I'm gonna kick off right now with these loafers. These are by Topshop. These are called the Carter loafers. Now, I thought I would show you these because I've had a lot of bang for your buck wear out of these. These are obviously very much inspired by the Gucci trend with the loafers, and I do own Gucci loafers. But I remember when I first went to Gucci and I tried on their black loafers. I think they're called Princetown loafers. Um, I tried on the whole ones and the, the backless ones. And I don't know why, I don't know why, but for some reason they just didn't do it for me. I don't know, I just wasn't like, oh my God, I really love these. And I think if you're gonna spend that kind of money, you need to have that kind of feeling. If not, I think it's just a waste. So I ended up going to Topshop and I didn't know these even existed. I went in there and they had these and I, I put them on and they thought they were perfect. I love that play on something that's girly and masculine at the same time. So these are just perfect for that. And I just thought these were really good bang for the buck. Sticking with shoes, another favorite buy from last year has to be the Stella McCartney shoes. I was one of those that took years to decide on biting the bullet on a pair of Stella McCartney's and I am so glad that I did. I'm looking at the viewfinder so you could, it shows up well. I wore these a lot when I was in St. Lucia because they've got this wicker or woven pattern here. I wore them with crochet dresses, I wore them with uh, shorts, I mean I just loved them. Um, I have them in three colours, this one, the plain black and the silvers. I have a review on the Stella McCartney shoes in general. I'll link the video to that below. These ones I scored very luckily on the net a porte sale. I think I paid like about 40 to 45, between 40 and 50% off and they had my, color, my size and I was so, so happy because I always liked this one as well. So very happy. You do not have to pay full price for these if you're interested. And uh, yeah, so this was a great buy for 2016 and I am so, so happy I have them and I'm looking forward so much to wearing these for this year as well. I think these are going to be the last from the shoe category. I'm a real shoe girl. It's a problem. It really is a problem. But I'm going to show you a pair of these Gucci Marmont shoes, which these really were a good find for me. I love that they have that kind of like grandma, grandma chic, that kind of vibe to them. I really like the metallic finish of them and the brass gold hardware. And it's just got a very simple wearable block heel, which is absolutely perfect. It just works with a lot of things. And I just oh, cannot say enough about these. Wear something really simple and then you bung these on and you're good to go. So really happy I found these. I ended up finding them in the UK and had them shipped over. And oh, another tip for you. UK prices for Gucci in general is a fraction of US prices. So if you can, get it in the UK, have it sent over. Figure out a way to have it sent over. Just do it because it'll be will save you so much more money. So yeah, I'm really happy I got these. Again, a great shoe that I'm looking forward to wearing this year as well. So moving into bags, one of my favorite, favorite bags, I mean, I'm not gonna go on too much about this because I've just talked ad nauseum about this bag, is my Chloe Faye. I, God, it's funny because I really wasn't sure I was gonna end up with a Faye bag when they first came out. Absolutely love this particular color. It's just beautiful. It's called Dark Purple. This is probably the largest uh, shoulder bag that I own. And it's just a, such a great, great bag. Beautiful, beautiful color. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about this particular color, but yeah, very happy I got this and definitely a good find for 2016. Another great find bag-wise for 2016 was my Chanel small boy bag. Now this one is from 2014, so it's an older style Chanel bag. And the reason why I wanted this particular year is because the caviars in 2014 for Chanel boys were beautiful. I insert close-ups and I love this antique kind of brass gold hardware. I went into Chanel recently and I looked at the boy bags and they're all that bright, shiny hardware, and it, 
just don't like them, sorry. I found this, it was bought on the pre-loved market. There was a girl that I found who didn't want hers. So she sold it to me, she was becoming a mum and she couldn't really wear it, that was the reason. So she sold it to me and I'm so, so happy I got it. It's my good like go-to workhorse bag when I'm looking for something that's a bit masculine looking but holds all my essentials. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got it. So another favourite I found from last year was actually towards the end, like the last quarter of last year and I found it from a thrift shop and it's this beautiful carpet coat single breasted pockets on the front and this really nice oversized buttons which have really pretty detail on them there beautiful this is the back of it and it's just got this tapestry design that runs just all over the entire coat and it reminds me so much of the Rodate boots which I once had and stupidly stupidly sold and to this day I really wish that I had those boots back and I'm forever checking eBay if anyone lists them in, in my size but I feel like this is a reincarnation of those boots so it's like fashion karma came back to me but um, in a form of a coat instead every time I wear this coat I get compliments and I can honestly I can see why because it's one of those coats that if I saw a girl in this I would be the same and say to her my god where did you get that coat from it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous Oh, I love this thing. It's one of those statement coats that you put on and you don't have to worry about your outfit. You could just wear something like this, just like very plain, like a sweatshirt, a pair of jeans, and then you fling this on top with ankle boots or a pair of brogues or whatever. And immediately it's like you've just, you've put an effort into your outfit and you've not really. So, so happy to have found this coat. Great find. The brand is Isabel and Nina. Boy, was I lucky to be at the right place at the right time when I saw this. Another favorite from last year is from Zara, but this cardigan coat is the best thing I ever found from that store, hands down. I saw it when it was full price, and I think it retailed originally for, it's like almost, it's not floor length, but I mean, it's like a, it's a full maxi cardigan. It was originally um, like about 190 to 200, what, 199? It was, you know, it was really up there in price. And um, I didn't want to have to pay that kind of price. But, you know, I just thought to myself, crap, why does it have to cost so much from Zara? I didn't, didn't want to pay that from there. So, you know, I just crossed my fingers and hoped it was going to go on sale. And it did. I'm one of those people that, you know, when you get the email from Zara that says sale starts at midnight. Well, that's me. I'm one of those people. So I stayed up and made a beeline straight for this coat. And it was available still because I was like, I think I was one of the first there checked out immediately, looked at nothing else, just paid, processed, done. A couple of days later it came and I have not been happier. I wear it with anything and everything, from dresses to jeans. It's my cardigan if I want, it's my coat if I want, just depending on how much I'm wearing underneath it. It's beautiful, it really, really is. It looks even better in person than it does showing here. You know, my mom, even my mom, I know that she had stuff like that back in her day. So having something like this to me feels like, you know, it's like an homage to the past. And I often wear it belted right here. And just, that's it. It's just a beautiful swing coat. And it's, it's a real statement piece. And boy, absolutely, hands down, one of my favorites from 2016. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a classic example of being at the right place at the right time. I was walking down the street and a girl was, she had a blanket laid out with a pile of clothes on and I saw a flash of gold in the heap of the clothes and I just pulled it out and I said, oh, what's that? And she goes, oh, that's a skirt. Pulling and pulling and pulling and this came out. This gold full length skirt, metallic skirt, pleated my jaw literally cartoon style dislocated hit the ground my bottom jaw tongue rolled out that was my reaction when i saw it i just thought Dong! love it love it love it love it then i looked at the label and it says holston and i just thought holy crap you know i really scored instantly put it on snapchat i think because i was so so happy i found this in the summer of last year and to this day, it's one of the best things that I have found for 2016. I'm five foot seven and this falls well past my calf. 
which I love because I'm really into pleated skirts that are ultra long. When I buy pleated skirts these days, I go up like three sizes at least because I want that extra length or I'll go to Topshop Tall and I will buy their skirts because I want them to fall that long. Beautiful, beautiful. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments and it catches the light. This thing catches the light like no one's business. It's You're just like a human disco ball when you're wearing this thing. Another favorite is something very, very basic actually, and it's just it's just a button down shirt, but it's the pattern of this shirt that I like. And it's this gorgeous shirt that I found again in a secondhand shop. And I just, it's everything that I absolutely want in a shirt print. And I love the material of this. It feels like a brushed silk almost. You know what? I don't even know what the, what the material is, but it feels like a brushed silk. So it's very flowy looks so good tucked into high-waisted jeans oh best combination I love to wear this in two ways unbuttoned all the way really low so a little bit of your bra might sneak out and show so it's a little bit on the sexier side or I go the exact opposite and wear it very tomboy style and wear it completely done up all the way to the top button so those are my two ways to wear it and it's still to this day out of all the shirts that I've got and I trust me I have a lot this is probably my number one favorite because of this star print and I know it because I wanted the star print shirt so very very pleased to have found it and I'm looking forward to wearing this this year as well okay so we're nearly done now I'm gonna move lastly on to a couple of pieces from accessories and for me these pieces that I found last year there's only three of them two are belts and one is a pair of sunglasses but they represent what to me helps just complete what you're wearing so one are these sunglasses and it's these yellow tinted aviators i wanted the acne spitfires which are similar to these and i thought okay those are what i want because they're gorgeous but they didn't have to be acne i'm going to tell you that because acne didn't invent yellow tinted aviators they've been around for donkey's years and then i was in beacon's closet and i saw these and i put them on and it was love at first sight especially because they were like next to nothing i think these were ten dollars or something something ridiculous like that very very pleased to have got these it just gives you that right retro vibe to anything you're wearing when you put these on and it just has like a really kind of like cool girl vibe because they've got that slight yellow tint. I also found these in like a blue from the same place. So it was like a double score from 2016 when I found these. And I say that 2016 because I have been looking for a transparent but tinted sunglass. Something that looks like the guys would wear during the 70s. And this is what this is. So very happy to have got these. All right, so the last two things are belts. Now, one of the belts, you're probably already going to guess what it is, but I'm gonna show it because even though everyone has it, I really loved it and I thought sod it, I don't even care if everybody loves it because I do. And I got the Gucci Marmon belt. I, again, I got it from the UK because it was less there. And I'm always trying to keep my eye on like, where's the best place and where's the best deal to find things. I saw this, loved it. And it's the one thing that I put on and it just elevates anything that I'm wearing. You're all probably sick of seeing it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of my favorites for last year. And I'm looking forward so much to just keep wearing it because it's, it's a great belt. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is another belt. This one is, this one is brown and I found it from Anna Karina um, the designer she has a shop now in Brooklyn Williamsburg called Anna Karina finds you have to google her and go because she has the best vintage stuff anyway so she had this belt oh look don't know what to say I don't know I literally do not know what to say gorgeous beautiful almost door knocker sized head lion's head on the front and with this beautiful aged brown leather for it as well i love this it's funny because at the time that i got it she said to me that a guy came in who belongs to a rock band and he loved it so much he wanted it 
but I saw it before he did and so she had it like pulled like put to one side for me thank god because I would have had a guts for garters I'm really really happy that I got it and um, it's beautiful it reminds me um, of uh, Gucci Bill as well because I know that Gucci has the roaring it's either a lion or a tiger face for one of their belts as well in in brown leather and against black leather so it has that kind of vibe but way better because it's from a vintage shop and I think that is it those are my top favorites of last year I can't think yeah I can't think of anything else I can actually think of other things but I'm not going to because then the video is just going to go on and on and on and I don't want it to do that it's funny because I was on Instagram a couple of days ago and I did the Instagram live where I just talked to everyone live and I loved it. It was so good chatting with you lot. So follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing those um, live videos every Sunday in the afternoon. Afternoon New York time that is. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Bye. I hope you got have a I need glasses cuz I can't read this. That's it. I will see you next year. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now before I bore everyone to tears. See you next week. Bye.